Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm deciding to do a bit of a makeup tutorial. And yes, my lighting is still pretty bad because I always tend to do my videos around 10, 11 o'clock at night. So, until I stop that, my videos will be a little bit poorly lit. And the camera quality is not going to be all that good because I'm still recording on my laptop. Um, so, I'm doing a makeup tutorial to just put on for, for some fun and I'll show you guys how to do it. Alright, I'm going to do my eyes first. But when I do my foundation and my concealer, it'll just wipe it all away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all of the eye brushes, oh, white falling eye brushes that I use. And since I'm just going to do this real quick, I'm not going to prime my face but usually I prime my face and when I prime it I use the wet and wild coverall primer um, and I prime my eyes lately I've been priming it with urban decay I just been using the sample that I got lately I've been using Eden which is a new matte formula and I'll eventually move on to original, minor sin, anti-aging. Just want to finish off Eden first. And when I set, I usually use the All Night Makeup Setting Spray and the D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray. It depends on what I'm doing that day. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. I use it on my Beauty Blender. But what we're going to do is grab my brushes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to my LA Colors matte palette actually. And then I'll grab my wet and wild brush. I'll just take a little bit of this lightest color right here. Tap off the excess. And I'll go right in to applying it on my lid. I'm just going to cover the whole lid. And then what I also do is I'm going to I grab my Sephora Overcast Filter Eye Palette and I take this color right here, which is Sandcastle, just brush off my brush and then I take a little bit of it, tap off the excess, and cover the eyelid again in it. Now I'm going to go do this eye off camera real quick. Alright, there we go. I've covered both eyelids. I'm not sure if you can see it very well or not. Now I'm going to grab my Real Her number one shadow palette and be your own kind of beauty. And I'm going to grab my second Wet Wild brush. It's just the same brush. I just have two of them. And I'm going to go in with Strong right here. Put it on the out corners. Tap off. Don't worry, I blend it all out. I just don't blend it out right away. Okay, and then I also go over that, over Strong, with Rocky from the Overcast Filter. Tap off the excess. I have to double up on colors for a lot of stuff. Because while it's super pigmented in the swatch, it's not super pigmented on the eye. And then and using the setting spray doesn't work either. Alright, I've done both eyes, clearly. I still haven't blended yet. I'm going to go in with this brush right here with this kind of head. And I'm going to go in with Creative, which is this color right here from the Real Hair Palette. It's a purplish color, shimmer. I'm going to the, just the outer V within the crease. So just a little bit, tap off, and then apply. Alright, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that same brush. I'm going to clean it off real quick. Then I'm going to go in with Courageous right here. There and apply it to the center of my lid. All right, now I am going to grab this brush here. It's a double sided brush, and I'm going to use this end. And I'm going to grab, going to grab my Wet n Wild All Natural Palette. It's in here, the same brush, but I'm going to go in to this color right here. This like grayish, blackish, brownish color. Let's just delve in into it. First time using it. Off the excess. Go. Now I'm just going to apply it under the lower lash line. Okay, now that I've done both eyes, I'm going to grab this side of the brush and go in with this color right here, fun. Put it on my inner corners. Pick it up. Dust off the excess. Apply it. Alright, now I've done both eyes completely. 
And now, okay, and I'm going to go in with this brush. It's a bit weird. I personally don't know what it's supposed to be used for, but I use it for blending my eyeshadow. I'm just going to blend it all together. Now that I've blended both eyes, I'm going to do my eyeliner and my eyelashes. Um, well, this is right here. Appears to be a wet and wild one. I've had it for a while, it's a bit worn out, worn down. And I just pull it, apply it right down here. Let me grab my mirror again. All right, well, my camera just suddenly decided to stop recording, so I don't know what all I got. So what I just did was I applied, in case I didn't get it, I just applied eyeliner onto my waterline. And now I'm going to apply it up here onto my eyelid. Since I don't do winged liner, I don't have a problem with doing my eyeliner before my foundation. All right, now I'm going, like I said, I'm just going to apply it to my lid real quick, but not with this. I'm going to use my liquid eyeliner. Instead of using a black liner, I'm going to be using a silver liner. It's LA Colors Pearl Metallic Eyeliner. Okay, I'm just going to go to my eye a little bit. And it's a brush tip. Goes on pretty thick. That's the main reason that I don't tend to do winged liner. I've applied it to both eyes. It's just drying, and in case you can't tell right here, I messed up a bit, so I wiped it off and just bled down. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my foundation, which is the the Wet and Wild Photo Focus Foundation in cream beige. I'm going to grab my brush, and I going to apply it onto the brush if I apply it onto the face it dries too quickly and I don't have time to apply it properly let's grab my mirror again the one fault that I have with this is that it smells like paint so my one problem with this foundation I want to grab my beauty blender and just apply foundation all over my face And you see it dries pretty quick, so I apply it to like one half of my face and then I go over. And this foundation, it is buildable, so I do tend to build it quite a lot. Okay, now I get some more foundation, I apply it to this half of my face. No, I totally forgot to do the neck. There we go. Let me just do my second coat, my second application now. Put it under the brush. In the second application, I apply with the brush rather than the brush, then do you blender. It's just that if I apply it with the brush for a second foundation, second application, it doesn't streak as much for some reason, but it'll streak really bad if I do it for the first one. I like to blend it out to my hairline, so it tends to show in my hairline, in case you can tell, in my actual hair, but I tend to brush that out after that, so it's not really visible on my actual hair. Okay, let me just go in some more. In this, I tend to tan a lot, but this somehow even matches me still, so let me check. And I'm going with one final foundation, foundation application, but I apply it directly to my beauty blender this time. And then I just apply it, and just dab, 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 pat it into four spots. And then I just dab it all over quickly so it doesn't dry. Oh, my spoolie broke. So it's just this little thing now. So I'm just going to brush them out real quick to brush out all the foundation. I have to do it. I get them done though. That wax them or something. Or something soon. Go. And then I just do that to put it down. See the eyes and everything. Okay, and now I get my. Again, Wet n' Wild Photo Focus Concealer in the color light to medium beige. And I apply it to my under eyes like this. A triangle sort of thing. And I fill it in a bit. And now I'm going to do my eye my mascara since I really forgot that, that. I use this I use the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara for the upper eyelid. I just love the brush for it, so I'm just gonna go in with that. I just do a coat to the top of it and to the bottom of it and then I like zigzag motion it and then I go in with another mascara which is the <laughs> Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara it's a purple tube it has this nice small brush and I apply it to the inner corner eyelashes right on the top right there and then I apply it to the bottom lashes now I am going to do my contour 
I use for my uh, bronzer. I use the Too Faced chocolate. I can't pronounce that. It's the medium deep matte bronzer. And then I go in with with this brush. Just I get it on the brush. Tap off the excess. Find my cheekbone. And I apply it. I use the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in Illuminati. Um, I just take it out. Which you can see the powder falling off, but that's from the last time I did my makeup. I just put a little bit on, dust it off, and then I apply it. Okay, so apparently my video was just paused somehow. What I did was I used my nose, the tip of my nose, my keep it spelling under my eyebrows. And now I'm going to and put the bronzer on my nose and on the side of my nose. Then I grab this brush, smaller version of the brush that I use for foundation. I'm going to do my lips. Use chapstick. cover it and then what I'm going to use and since I didn't do too bold of an eye look today I am going to use my Ofra uh, long-lasting liquid lipstick that I just got in Santa Ana and it smells like vanilla a little bit here is the final look Alright, well, thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you want me to do more videos like this. And I'll see you later. Bye!